in Stake's two-year-old Colt Pace. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Pro Bono Best watching him on the outside, and he is floating up near the lead. A little bit faster for Wow Wow along the inside, and Armbro Vaporize takes position two. Then Southwind Balsam along the inside, and Pro Bono Best is looking to cross in line from fourth. Who's your boy is taken under a hard rain from fifth, but no hole for Pro Bono Best into the first turn. Local authority, then Golfman and Tupac is trailing. That's Wow Wow and Lachance, the leader, over into the first turn with Armbro Vaporize along in second. Pro Bono Best. Never did get a hole. He's put in gear up on the outside. 28 and 1, the opening quarter. Pro Bono Best and Campbell had to put him under acceleration to make the top on the way to the half. He parked almost three eighths of the mile, but is finally cleared. Wow, wow, burned him a long way and sits along in second. Armbro Vaporize is third. Southwind Balsam in line from fourth. Who's your boy? Fifth. Local authority, golf man, and two pack in the backfield. They pass the half in single file fashion. 56 and 4. 20 28 and 3, second quarter. That's Pro Bono Best leading into the final turn and getting the respect on the front end into the final three eighths of the mile. Wow, wow, sitting back in second. On the inside third is Ombro Vaporize, and here comes Southwind Balsam making the ultimate sacrifice. First out from fourth. He's going to get cover though from Ombro Vaporize on that final turn. Who's your boy will be third over in fifth at head stretch, saving ground along the inside, local authority. Then two pack and golf man along the inside was trailing. Pro Bono Bono Best off three quarters, 125 and 2, 28 and 3 in the third. Pro Bono Best into the final eighth of his Champlain Stakes division. He's off by two, three lengths now and under no stress or urging. Back in second is Wow Wow. Southwind Balsam picks up third, and it's another routinely brilliant victory for Pro Bono Best. Campbell totally put the whip away. He defeated Wow Wow and Southwind Balsam. No records, but it was Pro Bono Best, 153. And one. All right, more Champlain Stakes action. Pro Bono Best, much the best in 53 and 1. So much the best, John Campbell didn't even pull the plugs on him. But he made one equipment change in the pacer tonight. Blind, it can't see back. Let's uh, explain the reason behind the change. Well, Ken, um, for the last few starts, I've wanted to change it. Uh, he's been racing off the front end a few times, and I thought if he could see a little more, it would quiet him down a little bit. And so far, he's been beaten up on these Colts on the front end, but sooner or later, he's going to have to race from the back. And uh, with that change, it, it just makes it a little more, a little easier for John Campbell to, to take hold of him and sit him in a hole if he had to. Des, when you went to the sales last fall, did you have this horse in mind going to the sales, or was there something that you liked in him and seeing him at the sales? What uh, was the end result in buying this guy? Well, I, I, I had a limited budget, and uh, he was one of the ones that I looked at in the catalog, and uh, actually a colt that sold his his uh, half-sister, uh, Ameripan Gigolo. That's one that I looked at too, but obviously he was out of my price range, and uh, this was the next best thing. Hey, speaking of being out of your price range, I understand you're entertaining a few guests. You and your partners up in the dining room. Uh, how many here tonight enjoying this Colts win? Uh, there's about 75 or 80 people upstairs, so I hope they're enjoying themselves. All right. Well, if they all bet 1,000 to show on Pro Bono Best, that would account for the 72,000 that was in the show pool in this Colt. Uh, no pressure when you have one this good. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Ken. All right. Dez Decour, winning trainer, co-owner with Pro Bono Best, and his partner celebrating a big win with a big group of people up in the dining room. Let's get a look at the changes in the upcoming race and a look at the rundown from this one with Frank Salif.